Hello students, welcome back to our class of DVMS. In the last few classes, we have already discussed about yard diagram or entity relationship diagram. In today's class, we are going to discuss with one particular example. Now, in this example, we are designing yard diagram for a publishing company. Now, our given problem is like that a publishing company produces books on many subjects okay from this line we are having two information actually uh, no three information one is we have a publishing company so we will simply make one rectangle there okay and we will write publisher clear because we have a publishing company now it produces books okay done so we will have another entity I am just simply identifying the entity okay this is really a very practical approach how you can design one actual database publisher and books okay now the relationship is like that one publishing company produces uh, many books so we can make it like that Now, one company can produce many books okay so it will be one two many right publish okay clear now these books are uh, written on various subjects so you know that one book can be written on a particular subject only so I will make like this subject subject one okay This is the relationship between the books and subject. I'll make it like this. About books about this subject. Now, one book is written about a particular subject, but for a particular subject, you can have many books. So it will be. Many is true. What yeah. is it true? clear to you that one book can be written on a particular subject, but for a particular subject, you can have many books. Okay, now from this line only, I got this information. Okay, now <coughs> the books are written by authors who specializes in one subject. Okay, so we will have another entity. Yeah. Author. Good. Mm, now book book type good books written by the author now see is there any specification 
that whether uh, a single book can be written by a single author or not because one author can write many books okay now let me check the books are written by the author who specializes in one subject okay now there is another specialization right. Correct. Mm, specializing in one particular subject, the company employ editors who necessary being specialist in one one particular area. Each take the responsibility for editing one or more book publishing. Okay, now there is nothing written. So uh, we are taking one assumption that uh, one author can write. It, it, we know that one author can write many books, and one book can be written by many authors also. So I am making it M is to N relationship. Now let me repeat: if one author can write only one book, uh, then uh, that will be M is to one. And otherwise, uh, in this case, I am uh, assuming that one book can be written by many authors also. Okay. So as we learned before, there must be some book id book id that will be the primary key and also must be some who has taken my previous classes already know why i am do why i am doing this a id or author id because when you are doing any many to many relationship then this relationship table must exist right and for that you need the unique id right and we have also a id now these two will be Primary key. Okay, done. Now, uh, the company employs editors who not necessarily being specialist in a particular area. Uh, oh no, let me finish this also. One author specialized in one particular subject. Okay, so this is clear that one author can be expert on a particular subject. But for a particular subject, you can have many authors. So one is to many relationship. Okay. Now, company employs editor who not necessarily being specialist in a particular area. Uh, each can show responsibility for editing one or more book publication okay now so this will be editor editor right <coughs> excuse me and this is the relationship between the editor and the book. Now, one editor can publish one book, but uh, one editor can also publish many books. But one book can be published by a particular editor, so this will be many is to one. Okay, done. Now, in a particular responsibility for editing, every book requires some items for publication, each these items supplied by supplier. 
okay good so there will be a supplier and uh, items item supplier supplier now one supplier can uh, let me check these items supplied by supplier one supplier can supply many items okay now one supplier can supply many items and it is uh, very easy to assume that one item can be supplied by many supplier so it will be m is to n relationship Now this will be SID. Uh, this will be ID employer item ID. Okay. Now make a connection between them. Now this will be copied there. Okay, I must end now. These are required for uh, so this will be our required table. Required table. Books required item. Now one book requires many items, and uh, one item can be used for uh, required for many books. So this will be a many-to-many -many relationship too. So this will be M is to N. Okay, um, so <laughs> it has become so much congested. So see, let me get how I can manage it. Uh, so this will be my IIT. IIT. Uh, this will be my book ID. Okay. Here, so let me join them. Okay, done. And the next thing is that every book requires some publication, each of the supplied by some supplier, and a supplier can many item. Now, shop owner buy books from one publisher and shop watcher. Okay, now we need to make one shop owner. Why? Mm. 
know let me check well uh, it has become a little congested okay please consider this the line will not interrupt this about relationship table okay done now see shop owner can buy books from supplier and shop owner can buy many books but one book can be okay now so this will be one is one is two one supplier can buy many books but one book can be done editor edit like this edit okay clear so this is a sample uh, entity relationship diagram for this given problem in our uh, forthcoming classes i am going to discuss uh, about more examples and a few topics like uh, specialization and generation also okay so stay tuned with us thank you